What's up you guys? Welcome back. This is my bare face. Don't you like it? Um, so the last two weeks I have not filmed a um, makeup look. I usually, my favorite thing to do is eyeshadow tutorials, but I felt very um, uninspired. So I took a couple weeks off and I did a haul video and then I did a nail video. So now I'm ready to get back to an eye look. And I had the idea that I would find a tutorial, like the picture tutorial on Pinterest and I would try to follow it and see if my look comes out as the same as the Pinterest look. Because we all know those Pinterest looks, like the Instagram looks, they are like on point. And I'm creative. I like to do eyeshadow, but I am not the best. I like to show people how to do it. I'm still not the best. So for Christmas, or actually after Christmas, because I saw it and it was 50% off, I got this little kit. And it is um, Color Workshop, which is a very, very inexpensive brand. Um, I've used it before. It's not it's not high quality makeup, but it is decent makeup. And when I saw this and the colors in it and the eyeliners in it, I felt very inspired. So I thought, even though this is super cheap and maybe not the best makeup, I think I can come up with something super creative. So let me show y'all the picture. So this is the look that I was super inspired by. Um, now that doesn't mean this is what mine's gonna look like. That just, I love the blues. And so I wanna try something blue. I don't think I've done blue on my channel. This is very pretty. It's got some really nice little blues. It's just a little quad. And then I'm going to pop the gray and silver tone palette out, which looks like this. I don't know if it shows exactly on camera. Then I'm going to pop the blue and silver eyeliners out. This is, oh, the lids are cheap. Should have known. This is what they look like. Very pretty. And then I'm also, there's even glitter in this you guys. Glitter. So, I'm not going to try the mascara today. I don't know. I might. If I don't like it, I can just cover it up with mascara. But there's also liquid, blue liquid eyeliner and glitter eyeliner. So, oh, I just had an idea. I know how I'm going to incorporate that glitter liner in. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to use out of here. I might use this Jumbo, the silver eye pencil, maybe as a primer because I have a new eyeshadow primer and if I don't like it, I might need to cover it up. So I'm going to set this to the side. I took out pretty much like half of it. So this will be a good test. We'll get to see. Um, I'm going to do, this is just going to be eyes. I will come back with my full face done after I do my eyes this lightest blue. This is the shade we're using first. And I'm being pretty generous with it because this, the color workshop is not usually very pigmented. Now, they might surprise me this time. We'll see. And I'll clean up. I'll make the line sharp like the video or the picture um, once I'm done. Okay, here we go. generously again and we're just gonna build that up like I said even though these are super um, affordable cheap makeup you can always just work with it until it's where you want it to be it might be a little bit more work 
but you know, that's life. Okay, now it says to, number two, go in more into the crease with the darker shade. So I'm gonna get a little bit smaller blending brush and go in with the shade right next to that one, which let me show you. It looks much darker in the pan, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be. This is probably the color that we we're gonna want all along. Okay. And you don't have to be really um, like clean or precise with this because we're gonna cut our crease which I'm also not very good at. So, I think I'm gonna go back in with the light shade a little bit and just blend on top of that. So this is one of those looks that I took all the way to my eyebrow. <laughs> but that's okay, not a big deal. Step number three is telling us to cut our crease. So, I'm going to take this big cover concealer, which I got off of Wish, and I really like this concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm going to cut my crease. Hopefully. Anyway. And this crease goes all the way out. Like, oh, you guys, I'm nervous. I don't know if I can do it as good as she's done it. Anyway, we're going to take this little flat brush here. This is also just a Wish brush. It's super cheap, like a $2 set of like 12 brushes, I think. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get really... I'm sorry if y'all can't see this. I'm going to get... I'm going to use my desk to prop myself up and get really close to my mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. Pressing myself with this cut crease. And I'm sorry if I block the camera, but I have to be close to do this. Pleasantly surprised by that. Okay, we're gonna cheat, but just a little bit. I'm gonna use my Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'm gonna use this matte blue right here because. I don't want to put a shimmer there because the ones in the crease are already kind of shimmery and we're going to use a glitter um, liner so I'm cheating just a little bit though just a little bit okay so I need another flat shader brush but one that's clean this one's a little bit bigger these candles burning behind me smell so good they're heavenly oh yeah now that is the color right there I'll tell you what. Okay. So I believe step four is done. Let's see what it says to do next. I'm going to take the glitter liner and I'm going to do that in the crease and like flick it out. Hopefully, and this is my first time using this glitter liner, so hopefully it works. Let's see what it looks like. It looks nice. We'll see. Mine's kind of thick. <laughs> kind of looks like I just 
just throw on a bunch of glitter there. Looking at a tint. This blue liner, this could be where things go wrong. Actually, I really like this liner. This blue liner, this Color Workshops liner, goes on super easy. That's not to say I didn't mess it up some. I did. I really like this. Like, it's not perfect because I'm not a professional, but so far this is what it looks like. So, like, you see the glitter in the crease. You've got three different shades of blue. Blue eyeliner, like, I know it's not exact, and when I get all the rest of my makeup on, it'll look better. But, I mean, I think we've gotten pretty dang close. So, I'm gonna go off camera, do my other eye, do my face, and then I will come back and I'll do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take the blue pencil that was in the kit that I showed you. I'm going to do my waterline. So that's not as blue as it looks like it's going to be, but you know, it's fun. Next, I'm just going to take the second shade that we used out of this palette, so this one, and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. into this one at all for my inner corner highlight I'm gonna use this champagne -y silver color in my inner corner I do really like that as an inner corner highlight it's nice and since this is a really dense brush it's really helping it and this is dry I didn't use any of these eyeshadows wet so, imagine if you used on wet, how nice that would be. Okay, let's do lower lashes. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Let me show you the Pinterest picture real quick. And obviously our lower lash line is not as blue because my um, eyeliner kind of failed me. Overall, I think we did really good. Um, my lashes are not as dramatic as hers. The look is not as blue as hers. But can we follow a Pinterest tutorial? Yes, we can. And did we get a really cool look with it? Uh, yeah, we did. So. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, good or bad, I don't care, um, and I'll see you in the next one.